Hi, this is Dr. Kurt Wooler. I've talked before on this video blog about things such as Respin A, cholesterol, oxytocin. I wanted to just touch on that topic again real briefly. Um, to encourage you, if you have not done a cholesterol test on your child, and let's say they're due for some blood work, or you're going back to your pediatrician to do some blood work, it's a really, really good idea to check for total cholesterol, okay? Total cholesterol is a marker of cholesterol level in the blood, and we know that cholesterol is very important for brain function. We know that cholesterol is a major precursor to various hormones in the body, um, which tend to run low for people as they age, but they can also be low in kids. Cholesterol is also critically important as a stabilizing unit, as something that helps to bind the oxytocin more effectively at its receptor site, and it improves the function of the oxytocin receptor so that whatever oxytocin is being produced, it works more effectively. And we know that oxytocin is a hormone in the brain that's very much involved in social bonding, facial expression recognition, voice cue emotional recognition, helps very much um, in basically people being more connected on a human level. Okay, so the cholesterol level is critically important. And what they found is that when cholesterol level is low, kids are less social, they have more behavioral problems, they have more sleep problems, uh, sometimes aggressive irritability, uh, self-injurious behavior. So it's something that you want to look at, but there's a link between cholesterol, there's a link between oxytocin, and there's a relationship to Respin A and how these things are coordinated. So please, again, if you're going to do some blood work, make sure your doctor runs that total cholesterol level, and we're actually looking for a level above 160, ideally between 160 and 170 would be nice for, at least in my opinion, all individuals on the autism spectrum. Thanks.